If I'm an Italian, any other Italians in here? Guess there's no garbage pickup tomorrow. We're all out tonight. <laughs> I'd like to see that. I can say that because I'm Italian. For those of you who don't believe me, I brought my proof with me. This proof of purchase, this gold chain. Now, Italian men receive their gold chain at baptism. I don't know if you're aware of that. The priest walks in and goes, uh, do you denounce Satan and all his sins? Yes, yes, yes. Do you promise to mix uh, three parts sand to one part cement? Yes, yes, yes. Is your chain? Get him out of here. I got a typical Italian home. You walk into my home, there's big, thick red rugs, white stucco on the wall, more pictures of Jesus than the Vatican, and every couch cushion's individually wrapped in its own Ziploc bag. We practice safe sitting at the Ferrara home. We're very proud of them. I've been told I don't look Italian. Do I look Italian to you guys? Do I look? No, I get no, because I'm not like big. I'm not hairy or nothing, you know? My sister is. <laughs> See, that's a cheap joke. A lot of people think, well, Italian women are hairy. Oh, they have body hair. They're like little Ewoks. They're just hairy people. I've gone out with many Italian women, and I'm here to tell you, nice folks. You're absolutely right. <laughs> My last girlfriend had a back like Ed Asner. I'm not making this up. And in my family, when the women get older, my grandmother especially, the hair starts coming out of her nose. Now, Christmas dinner, I'm sitting across from Granny. Every time the woman sneezed, she looked like a party favor. It's like, <laughs> No, no, no more God for me. I'm full. Thank you very much. Grandpa's like, where's all the linguine? It's hanging out of Granny's nose. <laughs> My grandfather's no better. He's 80 years old. You know when you can get so old, you can say whatever the hell you want? And the family just goes. <laughs> My grandfather, we got company over for dinner. He comes out of the bathroom. It burns when I pee. Why? And the family's. What are we going to do? We're in the will. <laughs> He's got a glass eye, my grandfather. His glass eye is his dress-up eye. We only see that on funerals and holidays. His everyday eye is plastic. It looks all right, he just can't sit by the fire with the rest of the family. <laughs> it has an effect that I'm having a glass eye. Occasionally I walk past the bathroom, I find him in the mirror going, the candy man can, but other than that, Ah, he's, <laughs> uh, he's 80 years, he's very proud of the fact he has his own teeth. See these teeth? These are my teeth, the Lord gave me these teeth. He only gave you four, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs>